my name is Terry Sproul and I'd like to welcome you to my studio. Today we're going to do some really cool techniques using memory mist and silks from Stuart Superior. So let's get playing. First thing I want you to do is get yourself a transparency and I know you can't really see this on camera because it's transparent. Indian ink and a great stamp. This one happens to be from Stampotique. The Indian ink you can get from Stuart Superior. Ink up your stamp and stamp this image, you know, four or five times. Usually when I'm going to do something, I do as many as I possibly can so that I don't have to, you know, do this later. I'll have a bunch of them done. You do need to set this aside and let them dry. So we're going to do that. I have one that's already dry for us here. The next thing we're going to do is play with these awesome silks. Silks are a ink in these absolutely adorable bottles in great colors and it's a transparent ink in a bottle and you do need to make sure they sh are shook up really well and there's a little ball inside you'll hear it move. Now on the opposite side of where I stamped I'm going to paint on my silk and it's literally just like painting your fingernail. See ladies, it's that's exactly what it is, is a uh, fingernail applicator. And you can just go ahead and paint on your silk directly onto the transparency directly over your image. You don't have to worry about staying in the lines because we're going to cut these images out. And a little of this stuff goes a long way, so literally you don't even have to dip your bottle, your brush more than once into the bottle. Now, after you've done that, let this um, purple dry a little bit before you put the second color on. I used apricot for mine for the center, so I used the fuchsia and the apricot for my flower. And then you're going to set those aside and let those dry. And I have done that for us also. And you're going to cut the images out. So I have a bunch of them ready for me to play with. Now, the next thing I want to do, because I don't want to get, we're going to get really inky and dirty here in a second, is I want to take this Life is Good. It is a um, rub-on from Robin's Nest. And here's a great tip. Keep your rub-ons in their container that they came in and just cut out what you want. And then it all stays in there and nothing falls out and you have no problems. These are great rub-ons. They are from Robin's Nest. There is a link on my website and my blog. And I have tested these really well. I have tried them on ribbon. I have tried them on textured paper. I have tried them on, uh, you know, just regular cardstock. This happens to be vellum, and they, sh they work very well, come off fairly easily. I didn't have any problems with, you know, losing part of the image. You guys all know, because sometimes transparencies can be crap, and these are not crack crap. They are really great. So let's set that aside. Now it's time to get a little dirty. I need a tag, plain white tag. I'm going to use a stencil and you can use any kind of stencil you want. This one happens to be brass. It does not have to be brass. And I'm going to lay that on to my tag so that I get three of those butterflies on my tag. I'm going to protect part of the other part of the image and I'm just going to use some leftover cardstock that I just happen to have laying here. Protect the rest of my image. I actually have some magnets because this board is magnetic, which is really cool. And I'm going to use two colors of memory mist. First one I'm going to use is going to be cherry smoothie. And I just want a really light, quick mist. Now if you don't want your colors to blend, if you're going to use two, two colors, you need to heat set. That's the only reason you heat set. You don't need to heat set normally. So I'm going to really quickly heat set that. And that's going to set that color into there so that I don't have to worry about um, it bleeding when I spray on the yellow or, you know, changing colors like, you know, blue to green or something. Here, I'm, now I'm going to spray the yellow. Okay. Tap off the excess and pull that off and heat set that. Got those really cute butterflies, isn't that cute? Okay, I'm going to throw this down into the water that I got down on the floor there. Keep that protected. 
get rid of all this. Now make sure you clean off your spot here because this is a uh, memory must see. It's still lots of it on there. Okay, this is the really cool technique we're going to do next. You need to have a Teflon sheet. I have a Teflon sheet sitting here. And you need three to four colors of memory mist. It's up to you. I'm going to use Cherry Smoothie, Blue Lagoon, Mango Lemonade, and Ice Coffee. Now on your Teflon sheet, I want you to spray these colors. And you only need like one spray usually does it. And I don't want you to, I put, I want you to put them close to each other, but I don't want you to have them mix because I don't want the blue and the yellow to turn green. I want it to stay three, four separate colors. Now you need an awesome stamp. I'm using this butterfly one from um, Stamp Boutique again and some white cardstock. And what you're going to do is you're going to dip, um, a direct dip right into your ink with your stamp lift up and directly onto the paper, lift up and then heat set. The reason you're heat setting is because there's so much liquid in here you don't want it to continue to spread unless you do want that. Now you can dip directly back into the ink that we have laying here on our palette on the um, Teflon or you could just spray, one spray usually does it, um, water, plain water from a water bottle and even get more images out of the same, make sure my butterflies are going the same way, same inking. See that? Heat set again. Stop that ink from running. Now I would continue this all over my sheet until I got it the way I like it. I'm going to set that aside because guess what? I have one for us. Now, this is another image where I let it um, run for a little longer, see how it's more spread out and not as crisp as the other image. So I cut the image out to what I want. I've got this great teal cardstock that I got from, um, actually it's not cardstock, I guess it would be patterned paper, excuse me, from Robin's Nest also. And I'm going to map that on to use my image that I just did with the butterflies and mat it right on little bit of adhesive. I use zip dry because it dries quickly. Okay, now I'm going to use some quick ribbon down the side here. I'll trim that ribbon off camera for you because you all know how to do that. There's that really cool um, tag that we made and that other tag we made that life is good that I rubbed on a few of those flowers that we made. I took the um, Life is Good tag and I put it on with a uh, paper clip that's shaped like a heart. And this is the finished card that I made. I'm being told that big cards are coming back so that's why I made such a big card here. Remember if you do send big cards they cost more in postage. But here's that great watercolor look using Memory Mist. I hope you enjoyed your time here in my studio.